Hello everybody. Well, because it's late, I went and put on the night light. And as Kerry says, it makes me look like the oogly googly bear. Oh, boogly boogly bear, in fact. Oogly, I'm sorry, it's important. It's important, it says. Can you just hold on a minute? The oogly boogly bear. Oogly boogly bear. Thank you. That's what I look like. Hallelujah. Well, at least I look better than I did earlier on today. It's been a very bad day today, and that's why I'm so late during Sunday school. But it's been a bad week, really. Um, I can't uh, play the videos from YouTube. Um, I can play one, sometimes two. And then it starts going funny. Now, my friend from uh, live video, very good friend, told me how to correct it. So we tried it, and it did seem to work for a short while, but it's gone off again. And I, I've really missed you all. I feel as if I've lost my family, I've lost my community. Um, so all of those who are waiting for emails, etc. That's the reason why. Um, tonight I just wanted to say a couple of things. All week the same word has been coming up and it's been loneliness. Myself, I've been lonely. Um, and over here it's been the anniversary of Princess Diana's death, 10 years now. And she was a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. She really, really was. <clears throat> it would be lovely if you knew her, if any of you can remember her. She was a wonderful lady. And one of the things she said was the greatest disease wasn't AIDS or... Uh, cancer, but it was loneliness, or to feel lonely. And then um, I was listening to a sermon, and he was saying all these things we have to help us, our computers and our emails and our telephones that we walk about in the street with it clutched to our ear, all these things were meant to counteract loneliness but in fact they create it because we're so busy we don't have time for human contact anymore and then one of my my older daughter came and I was a bit down and she was trying to help and she said that when I talked about Jesus I became animated and awake and she said it's time to walk the walk and not talk the talk. We can talk about things so much, but sometimes it's time to get on and do it and to crack on. And then the last point that had come up this week was it had been said that suicide does not kill people, but loneliness does. So all week long it's been loneliness, loneliness, loneliness. And I feel that there are people out there who have the appearance of having a lot of friends and a lot of subscribers, but in the real world they are very, very lonely. So the scripture which I feel led to read tonight is the very famous one about love but it's done in the message so it does sound a bit different but that's good you know it's good to read them in different ways because we get so used to saying the same things and we come out with the same verses so quick that we haven't listened to what we've said so sometimes it's good to read it like this. 
So, it's 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak with human eloquence and that angelic ecstasy, but don't have love, I am nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but if I don't love, I am nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor, and I even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, what I do, I am bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares for others more than self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. Love doesn't have a swelled head. Love doesn't force itself on others. It isn't always me first and it doesn't fly off the handle. Love doesn't keep score of the sins of others and it doesn't revel when others grovel or take pleasure in the flowering. No, it takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with everything. Trust God always. Amen. Always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps on going to the end. Love never dies. Inspired speech will be over some day. Praying in tongues will end. Understanding will reach its limit. We know only a portion of the truth, but what we say about God is always incomplete. But when the complete arrives, our incompletes will be cancelled. When I was an infant at my mother's breast, I girdled and cooed like any infant. When I grew up, I left those infant ways for good. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist. But it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. We'll see it all then, see it clearly as God sees it, knowing him directly just as he knows us. But for now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us forward towards consummation. We trust God steadily. We hope uncertainly. Love extravagantly. And the best of these three is love. Hallelujah. It really does seem different, doesn't it, when you read it in this. But it says it as it is. And as Tina says, it's time to, you know, say it as it is. And get on with it and move with it. Hallelujah. Um, now... Before we do the prayer, I'd like to thank the new people who have joined me. Yeah, you know, I sometimes look at you and I think, why are you joining me? <laughs> but do you know, maybe there's just something. Maybe it's Jesus. Or maybe it's... I don't know. I really don't. But I thank you. I thank you very much for joining the family. Because that's what we are. We're a family of God. Now, to do our prayers, 
as you know you're all in here I thought we'd start off with another famous prayer Christ be with me St. Patrick prayer Christ be with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ where I lie Christ where I sit Christ where I arise Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me Christ in every eye that sees me Christ in every ear that hears me Salvation is of the Lord Salvation is of Christ May your salvation, Lord, be ever with us Amen So isn't that a lot of Christ who are all out there listening right now Hallelujah So let's lift people Dear Heavenly Father, we lift these people in this book to you. Oh Lord, each and every person in this book represents a family. And in that family there may be mother, father, child, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandchild. And each of that person, Lord, has a need. And I pray, Lord, that you touch each and every person represented. Oh, Lord, we don't always have perfect families, do we? We can have people who are in prison. We can have people who are in hospital. We can have people whose marriages break up. And, Lord, None of these things are our fault. Forgive us, dear Lord, when we do feel guilty. Forgive us, Lord, when we do think some of it is our fault, when in fact it isn't our fault. It's the fault of the enemy. Lord, I pray that you be with each and every person as they go to work. For those of you who work, I ask that the Lord be with you. And for those of you who are retired, Lord, I ask that you be with them. Be with people who travel. Give them travelling mercies, Lord. Keep them safe on the road. Oh, Lord, there are so many friends who we have who have got such personal, personal needs that that they feel it's so personal that they cannot actually discuss it. But they can with you, Lord. So thank you, Lord. Thank you that you've been with me today, that even though it has been such an awful, awful day, you actually have brought me through. Thank you, Lord, that that is the truth is that you always bring us through. Heavenly Father, I praise you and I bless you. And I love you. So thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious, precious name. And Lord, I just suddenly thought then of the people who are in the arms forces. Oh Lord, I don't have that privilege of having someone in the armed forces, but it, it is more relevant to some people than others, and I pray that they come home safe and sound, Lord, when that time be. So thank you once again, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So, even though I didn't think I was going to do it at quarter to ten, I finally did it. Okay, my loves. I love you very much. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for waiting for me. Bless you. See you later in the week, I hope. God bless. Bye.